do you like to play with model boats? And what if it was a real one? We're in Cannes, in front of the building where the film festival takes place each year. Here, movie stars walk on the red carpet. We have our star too, but for her, the carpet is blue. Everybody knows Riva, with its 174 years of activity, a global icon for luxury sailing. But all this experience and this value would be in vain if they didn't keep building the most beautiful boats in the world. This is Riva Mare. There's all the history, all the ability of the building shipyard. There's the stylistic innovation, making it one of the most fascinating brands. And there's the technical innovation, essential for a brand that is sponsoring Ferrari in the F1 circuits. She's almost 12 metres long, an ideal size to face the waves, and 3.5 metres wide, a perfectly proportioned breadth to be admired also from above. Elegant lines mark the bow shapes and the aft bulwarks. The shape of the bow has been designed to cut through the water. The sides can come in London grey, the most popular colour also for other Reva models. Or ice white, extremely sharp, or other colours from the Reva catalogue. The forward lights are useful. They don't create any reflection on the deck and they're a trait of the tradition. The wood chosen for the upper deck is the classic glossy mahogany. 25 layers of paint with sanding between them to obtain a protective coating, strong and mirror style. And as anti-slip, a spray of microspheres to roughen the surface. Steel has been used more than usual as deck finishing. Some details, like the horn case, are made in chromed aluminium, which means a lot of work will go into keeping it shiny. But taking care of your own reaver is a pleasure. The small mahogany pole with the reaver flag is almost like the spirit of ecstasy, the statue symbol of Rolls-Royce placed on top of their car's radiators. Speaking about it, the steel gratings remind us that inside, here are the engines. Two 400 horsepower Volvo Pentas. The cockpit is a space that protects, shields and embraces its guests. The couch and chairs are soft and each of the eight passengers can have his own seat. The wraparound windshield like this, this long, lets the air flow but breaks its force enough so you're able to enjoy the sweet pleasure of a smooth ride. The table is made out of mahogany, obviously. The living space can be protected by a retractable awning, if necessary, which is controlled by an electro-hydraulic motor. Opening a drawer, we can find a bar set for aperitifs. The lockers are mahogany, also on the inside. But the most interesting area is the aft one. Other than the sunbathing area, there's a hatch that can be flipped to become a swimming platform. It's time to go down below, but first look at her from the outside and think what you might find underneath the foredeck. There's much more than you imagined, am I right? Cooking area, bathroom with a separate shower, living area that is convertible to a queen-size bed. In the kitchen, you'll find the sink, the stove, the fridge, the ice box, and a microwave. The hanging cabinets have doors lined with leather. Dishes and cups can be stored in dedicated compartments, and there's also the coffee maker, essential for us Italians. Two openings underneath the windshield allow natural ventilation. The couch at the fore end follows the hull's shape and by adding an insert it becomes a big bed.
Now think of what you may want to have on board with you. More than what you already imagined, you might desire a bottle of champagne, cold of course. For this reason, there's an instant fridge. The cabin shutters can be opened or closed electronically, and if necessary, a curtain can be used to shield it from the sunlight. We're ready to start the engines. There's the joystick, and in docking mode it can be controlled so smoothly that the manoeuvre becomes quite precise. You can use the command also while sailing. If I had a large yacht, I'd probably hire a skipper. But if I had a Reva, I'd always want to keep my hands on the steering wheel. It's incredible. Look at this station. Look at this dashboard. I know, I know, the nautical term is helm, but this looks like a sports car. Carbon panel, finishing in technical fabric, controls for all the equipment, and this one right here is really impressive. This boat features all the most advanced trim control systems. There's the automatic mode, regulating the trim of the propeller feet according to the situation, waves or speed. But the same instrument is also controlling the interceptors, equivalent to the flaps, and that are needed to find the hull's correct sailing angle, but also to balance any list. If you find that controlling all these systems in the traditional manual way is too complicated for you, you just have to switch on the trim assist function and open the gas. This boat is also elegant in the way that it can be controlled. In this moment, we have also the gyroscopic stabilizer. They use this feature to keep it stable while moored, but also to improve its sailing behavior. A Reva is different in every way. It's something special in each different situation, also while sailing it. It went into planing mode by itself. The engines are running at 2,500 RPM and the speed is 20 knots. Its style is so sophisticated that it even strikes the waves elegantly. The comfort on board is at its best. These are the outlets for the air conditioning. Today, we're not going to need it. The breeze is just right. The sea is wonderful. It's a day made for sailing. When you own a yacht like this, you can't just say, I've got a yacht, or I own a Reva, nor I've a Reva Mare. You just say, I own the Reva Mare N1. You don't have to think that this boat is just sweet, smooth or sensual in its lines, or in how it sails. No, if you want, it's enough to turn off the traction control, to use a car reference, and you can have some fun with it. Look at this listing. <laughs> Impressive, am I right? The hull shape is a deep V to improve its behavior while facing waves and when banking. Well, if you want to give your guests a thrill, you can do it. The steering wheel has an immediate response. It looks like you're driving a sports car, very reactive and precise. This yacht comes with two 400 horsepower Volvo Penta D6 propulsion engines and by four propellers. Yes, because the engine feet are each dual prop. 
Adesso riattivo l'auto trim. Now I'll switch on again the auto trim and we'll look for the maximum speed. 34, 35. 37 knots, wow. Riva Mare. Riva Mare isn't only a new outstanding collection piece, it's the evidence that Riva is the top. Also in price, it starts from 750,000 euros.